the title of uh, the talk of Jan is uh, Penlevier Transcendence in Quantum Mechanics and Related Algebraic uh, Structure. Uh, so uh, uh, 15 minutes plus uh, five minutes for discussion. Uh, please, uh, uh, Jan. Okay, so thanks for the opportunity to uh, talk in that uh, workshop. So uh, I will try to convince you that there is uh, several places in a uh, context of non-relativistic quantum mechanics that the Penlevy transcendent uh, appear. And in fact, I would give in some way, some insight uh, how this connection appear through what is called the Chazy class of uh, equation, with, which are okay. third order nonlinear yeah. equation. Uh, so that would be uh, uh, some uh, recent paper with uh, Pavel Winternitz, uh, Masuye Sayedi, and uh, Sarah Post and uh, Lisa Ryder from uh, University of Hawaii. So uh, mainly I will be considering non-relativistic uh, quantum mechanics. So this is the Schrodinger equation. And uh, we can allow Laplace Beltrami operators uh, for uh, Riemannian uh, spaces. And there will be different type of system if we are on, uh, we can consider integrable system, super integrable, exactly uh, solvable. And uh, we can think of the potential as function, trigonometric, some polynomial, but uh, in fact, they can be uh, dependent on some transcendental function, meaning they can be uh, defined via some non-linear differential equation. And one example is the, the Lamé operator, which has been used extensively uh, in context of Calogero uh, model. They have been used as well to describe band uh, structure uh, in context of supersymmetric quantum mechanics. Uh, there is a also exactly solvable system depending on some uh, of these elliptic function. But the idea here would be to try to convince that uh, there exists, in fact, a hierarchy of exotic uh, potential that are interesting to look at. Uh, but before I will introduce uh, you, uh, the Penlevy transcendent. So they come uh, at the beginning of uh, 20th century. So by Penlevy, Fouch and uh, Gambier in a series of paper. And there was 50 type of equation of second order that satisfy what is called the Penlevy property. And among these 50 types, six of them were uh, found to be irreducible, meaning that they cannot be integrated or transformed into uh, classical function, hypergeometric uh, or elliptic function. And this is the form of the uh, six uh, Penlevy transcendent. Uh, some of them will depend on some parameters, for example, the fourth Penlevy, P4, we depend on two parameters and the pain of V6, uh, P6, depend on four parameters. And for some of uh, the parameters, there exists infinite hierarchies of rational solution, solution in terms of hypergeometric, and these are known as special uh, solution. Uh, some of them have also connection with what is called uh, exception orthogonal polynomial, but I won't give more uh, detail just to give some overview. Days Penlevy transcendent have appeared in several contexts, statistical mechanics, uh, vertex uh, model, random matrices, conformal field theory, relativity. And they appear when you look at symmetry reduction of various equations, KDV, uh, nonlinear Schrodinger, uh, various work by uh, Clarkson. But here I will uh, look at different type of very simple uh, quantum system, one dimensional, uh, they will be time independent. And so this is the, the form of the Hamiltonian, but I will allow the existence of an operator of nth order that will be among these four uh, type of operator algebra. So that operator commuting with the Hamiltonian can give zero, the identity, the Hamiltonian back or the operator back. And in some way, the last case can be understood as a ladder operator. Uh, the other cases 
uh, have also some other uh, property that allow to refer as them as Eisenberg and conformal. But the, the main idea is that once you begin to look explicitly for the compatibility equation, you will end up with uh, several uh, case related to pain levy transcendent and also higher analog. So for example, what I call VB4, so meaning of the type, the second type, so the Eisenberg. So I, I take a fourth order operator that commute with the Hamiltonian and I look for the constraint. And when I solve the constraint, I can obtain explicitly the operator up to one uh, equation that is the one uh, below. That is the equation for the first pain levy transcendent. And uh, this classification have been uh, done up to order five uh, and there exists connection with the fourth, the fifth, the second uh, pain levy. So in some way, looking for model with uh, uh, operator algebra uh, is connected with uh, the pain levy property. This is for one dimensional system. If I look now for multidimensional system, but system that have conserved quantity. And in fact, if I look for a model with uh, enough conserved quantity that are called super integrable, uh, we can connect those as well with uh, pain levy transcendent. So uh, just to give uh, um, uh, definition, the case where there is 2n minus 1 integral of motion is called maximally uh, super integrable. Here, this is the definition in quantum, uh, in classical mechanics, the same apply in quantum mechanics, except that we replace functional independence by algebraic independence. Various work have been done to classify super integrable system on Euclidean space in two dimension, three dimension, even on conformally flat space. And uh, in two dimension, it means two extra integral of motion uh, with the Hamiltonian. And uh, if you restrict to quadratic integral of motion, this is associated with separation of variable, exact solvability and various uh, properties such as existence of quadratic algebras and there is various connection also with what is called the ASCII scheme of orthogonal polynomial. But all the potential that are obtained when you constrain the integral of motion to be of second order are given in terms of rational uh, trigonometric function. But once you begin to look for higher order uh, integral of motion, uh, we get interesting uh, exotic potential. So there was a search that was extended uh, to third and fourth order integral of motion. This is the, the, the form that they can uh, take. And when you take the commutation with the Hamiltonian, you will get overdetermined system of uh, differential equations. And when you solve those, there will be compatibility equation that will lead to equation with the pain levy uh, transcendent. I would just illustrate with uh, this example uh, for integral of order three. So there will be arbitrary coefficient, arbitrary function that can be obtained by solving this system of uh, equation. And uh, the solution from uh, these four uh, equation, there would be uh, 20 potential that can be obtained. And among those five are written in terms of the pain levy transcendent. So these models have a second order integral of motion because they have separation of variable and Cartesian coordinate and extra third order integral uh, that can be exploited to solve these uh, model. And if we uh, extend to a fourth order uh, integral, you will get hierarchy again of uh, system in terms of the, the fourth uh, pain levy. If we look. Uh, the fifth pain levy, the third pain levy uh, transcendent. So these models have been classified completely for two dimensional Euclidean space for a second and third order integral when there is separation of variable in Cartesian coordinate. And uh, 
all of them have the pain de vie uh, property. Yeah, I'm five minutes. But ju just to give some uh, detail about how these results have been obtained, the key element is to go back to the classification of nonlinear uh, equation that go back to Chazy Bureau. And there is recent work in 2000 by Cosgrove on third, fourth, and fifth order nonlinear differential equation, having the pain levé transcendent. They have been divided in several classes and the, all the reduction to pain levé transcendent have been obtained. And this rely on constructing first integral, but uh, more importantly, looking at what is called a second degree, second order, pain levé type of equation, which is the one uh, below, which has been studied extensively by Cosgrove and Scusfis in uh, 93. Uh, so the, the idea is that looking at this model in one or two dimension with conserved quantity, we get system of equations that lead us to compatibility equation of fourth order that can be uh, connected with this classification and bring into the form of this second degree, second order pain levy equation, and then the correspondence with the pain levy transcendent uh, obtained. So this point out that when we look for uh, sufficiently high order uh, symmetries, we are likely to get potential or equation that are connected with the pain levy or higher order analog of pain levy. And just to uh, give some as well insight into what this integral of motion of higher order can give us, they can allow us to solve algebraically this uh, model. For example, this is one model in two dimension related to the fourth point of view. And here the only knowledge that we have is the existence of a second order integral A and a third order integral B. And when we commute the close in the following cubic algebra containing the Hamiltonian as a, uh, Oh, I see a, a N raise. Don't worry, Ian. Oh, is there uh, is a question? question? Question goes to the, at the end. Oh, okay. Uh, so the, the idea is that uh, this uh, allow Casimir operator and using the, what is called uh, a deformed oscillator algebra. Here I'm just giving uh, briefly the, the form of this algebra. It's a generalization of the uh, what we have for the usual harmonic oscillator, one can obtain the uh, structure function and solve algebraically uh, the spectrum without even solving the Schrodinger equation explicitly, which would be a difficult uh, task uh, if we would apply usual method because the potential is itself written in terms of uh, the pain levy transcendent. I would just briefly uh, introduce uh, this model to say that on, uh, if you allow separation of variable and other coordinates, for example, polar, you can end up with complicated equation, but still connected with the six pain levy transcendent. This is not obvious, but the equation uh, below allow uh, to be transformed into the uh, six uh, pain levy transcendent. So we get a complicated potential, uh, but still that we can uh, say uh, something about the solution uh, algebraically. And here, uh, just to give uh, some uh, detail, that model with the six pain levy transcendent was as well connected with the cubic algebra of the following form. There is an integral uh, X and Y that give another integral Z. It closes in the following way. And again, we can obtain the spectrum uh, algebraically. So just to uh, uh, finish, uh, this search has been extended on uh, two-dimensional Riemannian uh, space uh, for model uh, on the sphere and hyperboloid. There is explicit result uh, related to the fifth and uh, sixth uh, pain levy transcendent. 
but there is an ongoing task to try to classify how the model with third order integral of motion for uh, Riemannian uh, space. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much, <clears throat> Jan. Uh, uh, Francisco, please, your question. Yes, thanks. Thanks, Jan. Um, there is something very interesting here. But, um, the, uh, my, my first question is, is uh, does the, the Calogero model being studied from this approach in the sense of this is thematic? Uh, yes. If it, mm -hmm. In fact, if I go uh, at the beginning, uh, like, yes, so this uh, Calogero model, in fact, it's among the first case. So the, phase, the case, for example, there is that paper by uh, Yetarenta in 98, uh, it was called Pure Quantum Integrability. The elliptic function in some way is connected with that case mm -hmm. that uh, Hamiltonian commute with operator, but this is in one uh, dimension. I'm not uh, uh, yes. aware if that have been extended, but the elliptic case do appear when you consider that the, the first case uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. So and hyperelliptic I function as well. Yeah, so I understand because this is, I mean, also the, the Hamiltonian has this particular form. So then I was wondering what happened with the angular Calogero models, for instance, when the kinetic, kinetical part of the Hamiltonian is a bit different and if that could be open new possibilities. So this is related with that. So like doing the same, but thinking in the more Calogero, I mean, angular models, so. And it seems that these cases do not only appear in one dimension, they do also participate when you try to look at multi-dimensional uh, system. So in some way, they can be seen as building block for some other cases uh, in uh, more than one dimension. Thanks, Ian. Okay, it seems that there are no other questions. So Jan, I have a question. Uh, this first relation in one dimension, when LX commutes with uh, HX, uh, HX uh, really LX corresponds to the um, uh, lux novikov uh, integral. And um, uh, such systems uh, can be related to um, KDV hierarchy. So my question is, um, um, uh, other, uh, this other uh, uh, cases in one dimension, uh, do, uh, it is possible to relate them to some integrable uh, um, one plus one dimensional systems. And um, in the uh, simplest um, uh, uh, case of generalization for two dimensions, is there any relation to some uh, integrable systems of the si quantum mechanical systems that you uh, obtain? That has not been looked uh, at the moment, but I do uh, believe that there should be some connection with some hierarchy as well with the KDV. And that, that, that's right that it has been done uh, for the first case. I think I've seen some paper by uh, Dobner uh, from 99, and there was some uh, case related to this Eisenberg uh, as well, but they have not been looked, I think, uh, carefully, and, uh, but there would be some connection as well, I think. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, okay, it seems that there are no other uh, questions. So uh, thank you very much, Jan, for your interesting talk.